What's up guys, welcome to episode number 25 of Career Mode and it is a highly anticipated and oh, highly overdue episode coming along today. We are getting things started off by sending in a contract offer for Matthias Jorgensen. If you need to catch up on this series, I will leave a link to episode 24 in the description or an annotation, but we kick, we pick up Coyote, which is a really, really fast center back. He is insanely pacey. I think he has like 83 pace on him or something like that. I know he does an ultimate team, so that's what I'm basing that off, but he's a really, really solid player that I'm looking forward to using, and we have a lot going on on this episode when it comes to transfers. Emmanuel Fringpong sending us some messages, but look what is coming up there on the 31st. That little clock, you already know what it means. It is transfer deadline day, and that means some major pickups, some major sells, and it could all it all varies. Sometimes you get something, sometimes you get nothing, and it just depends on the day, but the simulating taking decades <laughs> and finally there it is transfer deadline day and i'm pretty excited of course 10 hours remaining and i have to do a lot of transfers but first i gotta go into my belgium squad to go submit it and nothing really looks wrong with the squad to me but i just check out some players and I really, really like being the head coach of Belgium because they have a really, really nice squad there. But I just go ahead and submit it without changing anything. And about nine hours in, I decide I need to go get a goalkeeper because I've been putting that off for way, way too long. It is way overdue because I believe my goalkeeper is something like... I think he's like 66 overall rated, which is unacceptable to be honest. But... Goalkeepers, they are usually on the older range, so I do bump up my range to 25, which still might be a little low for some people, but I like my goalkeepers to grow a lot, and I could see some massive, massive potential in goalkeepers because if you think about it, they play every single game, and they participate in some way with making saves, and I, I feel like they could grow a lot, and David De Gea right there looks like a pretty good prospect, but I decide not to go with him. And I do find Oliver Bauman. He looks like a really, really solid keeper. He's only 70, 70, 77 overall rated, but he's 23 years old, and he is not that expensive of a player. He is really, really cheap for what he could be. And age 23, goalkeepers usually live up, well, not live, because they obviously live after soccer, but their career lasts until around, I think, 35, 36. Some goalkeepers are older. I know there's older goalkeepers that play professionally, and I just can't name any off the top of my head, but we do need to go look for some strikers, too. I've been meaning to do that. We checked out Muriel to make sure he made it to Barcelona all right, and he definitely did. His value is way lower than what they paid me for him, but he was a really, really good player, and I believe he was worth every penny that they paid me. But you move on, and you find some new strikers, and the striker that I did find, you'll see him for a little bit because my capture card did mess up a little bit, but I did slow it down for you guys so you guys could see who it is, and this guy looked like a really, really solid player that I could enjoy using and right there, Filippo Boniperti, he looks like a really good player. You only saw them there here you only saw him there for a split second, but we move on and Oliver Bauman accepts our um transfer offer and we go move on with him. But we did get rejected by Fernandez right there. He looked like a pretty decent striker. And I know some of these names look unfamiliar, but my capture card again skipped some footage and Manchester United sends in an offer from for Emmanuel Fringpong and I do not want to let him go for 10 million that is way way too cheap for him in my opinion but Filippo Bonaparte he does right there want a better con or a better transfer offer I think he plays for Emopoli Imop maybe Empoli there it is that I remember it now <laughs> but it kind of rhymes with Napoli, and that's how I remembered it. But Oliver Bauman right there, we he is in the squad replacing our 69 overall rated keeper. And that was way overdue. I'm so happy to have him. And 
I really look forward to him growing and being the great goalkeeper that he has the potential to be. But going in to the transfer deadline day some more, and Manchester United sends in a 16.5 counter offer for Emmanuel Frank Pong. So I sent in a 19.5 million one. See if they'll bite, because I might give it to them if they send me a good enough transfer offer. But Filippo Benaparti was still trying to get him here, and we send him a $20,000 a week contract with the squad rotation, which probably wasn't the best idea if I wanted to pick him up. But he would be on the bench most of the time, and I didn't want to promise him something that he wouldn't get, to be honest. But he does reject that, and I just decide to stop pursuing him, to be honest. I didn't want him that bad because I do have Pato and um, Balotelli which are really, really solid players, but that'll pretty much sum up this episode, guys. Transfer deadline day has ended, and that's the end of this episode. It's good to be back in career mode. If you guys like this episode, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time, and peace.